Hello everyone. Welcome back to Motion Triple Five channel. Today we will make custom shape particle effect from any shape image. And here are some examples I have made. And in this video, we will create this autumn leaves effect. There's a package of more than 10 of different custom shapes for free download. I put a link in the description area of this video. You are welcome to download it, and feel free to use them in your video. And the background images I used in this video can be downloaded from pixabay.com. Okay, let's start making the effect. At first, I create a new project from scratch and save it as name, custom particle effect. But you can name it anything as your favor. Next, I'm going to import the leaves images for particle shape and the background image that I already prepared earlier into the project panel of After Effects. Next step, I hit on the icon, create a new composition, located beneath the project panel to create a composition. From the new composition settings window, I name it Autumn Leaves for composition name. For the preset, I select an HDTV 1080 as usual and set the frame rate at 30 frames per second. Duration, I set for one minute, and you may set this duration appropriate to the length of your video. Once done with the composition settings, then hit OK to create composition. The new created Autumn Leaves composition is opened from the Timeline panel. I right-click on the Timeline panel and select New, then select Solid to create a solid layer. At the solid settings window, I enter effect 1 for name and make sure the size of width and height are 1920 pixels and 1080 pixels. Then hit OK to create a layer. Now, let add effect for this effect 1 layer. I go to effects and presets and search for the CC particle world effect. Then I double click onto the CC particle world to apply that effect for the effect 1 layer. Before adjust the settings of CC Particle World Effect, I go back to the project panel and select and drag the two images shape, which are the leaf red and the leaf orange into the autumn leaves timeline. Make sure that the two image layers stay on top in the timeline panel. Then click the eye icons from the image layers to remove the eye marks and also make the images invisible from preview screen. We're done with the custom shape images. Now go back to the Effect Controls panel of the Effect 1 layer, in order to tweak the settings of CC Particle World. At the Birth Rate, I set 0.2. Longevity, let's set 10 seconds. Click on the arrow of Producer, to see more settings. First let's set all the settings within the Producer, to 0. Then I change Position Y, value to minus 0.5 and change radius x value to 4. Expand the physics settings. At animation, I choose twirl option from the drop-down list. Gravity, enter value 0 0.1. Resistance, enter value 2. Expand the particle settings. Then for particle type, let's select the texture disk option from the drop-down list. Then, Click on the texture arrow below the particle type to expand the texture settings. From the options list of the texture layer, let's select the leaf red option. Now from the preview window, while I move the time indicator further, you can see the particle effect is already changed to the selected shape. Continue to the rotation speed setting, I set it value to 5000. The birth size and death size are the variation size of the leaves in this effect. I leave as their default values. However, you can adjust these settings to meet what your needs. The maximum opacity, I set 90%. Birth color and death color both change to white. Now, it's time to add a background. Switch back to the project panel, select the background image, and drag it into the autumn leaves timeline panel. Make sure it stays at the bottom of all other layers. As you can see that the color of the leaves particle effects don't match very well with the background color. To fix that, let's select the effect one layer. Then go to effects and presets panel to find the fill effect. 
then double-click the Fill effect to apply for the selected Effect 1 layer. From the Effect Controls of Effect 1, click on the Color Picker of the Fill effect, then move the Color Picker to the background preview screen in order to pick a matched color for the particles. Now, let Run preview the effect. I'm fine with the Autumn Leaves effect like that. If you are not happy with your effect, just go back to the CC Particle World settings and tweak them to your perfection. I'm just showing the way, but you make the final destination. Okay, let add another leaf effect, which is the orange ones. Select the Effect 1 layer from the Timeline panel. Use Combined Keys, Control, D, to duplicate that layer. Then rename the new layer as Name, Effect 2. In the Effect Controls of the Effect 2, Repeat the same steps I showed you earlier. Use the Color Picker of the Fill effect to pick another leaf color from the background. Now go to the CC Particle World to change some settings to make the two effects be unique. Open the Producer setting. I changed Position Y value to minus 0.6. Change Radius X to value 5. Open the Particle setting. Within the Texture setting, I select Option Leaf Orange for the Texture layer. The Rotation Speed, I change value to 6000. That's everything for this video effect, and this is the result video of what we've done today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel. And see you again in the next video.